Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Intanger here again, playing some Factorio again, playing with my trains again. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of this. And uh, I've got some new features today. I'm talking about my new version, version 2.0.3, and it adds uh, several fixes and new features. Uh, number one, and uh, one, of the, one, of the, one of the more requested is, uh, I got the fluid fl uh, flex fluid trains working. Uh, there were several people who made different suggestions about different ideas on how to get it done. And uh, the one that actually was the clincher was uh, super simple. Like this, I can't remember his name, sorry. But uh, he, he uh, recommended just using a different station name uh, for the fluid trains, which is so simple. Like, I don't know why I didn't think about it. Like, I, I kick myself for not thinking about it sooner. Uh, but I, I didn't. But here it is. All I had to do was make a slightly different name to them. You'll see a, a very subtle period on the end of the, the, the supply stations for fluids now. And that basically allows me to um, make the flex trains um, have something that can differentiate. Basically, uh, the flex pickup rules for this will look for this one. Flex pickup rules for the others will look for the others. It's so simple. I don't know why I didn't think of it. it and I've been testing it out, and it seems to be working fine. Um, I haven't seen any issues with it. It makes sense. Uh, it, it works in practice. Um, I also uh, had to do a handful of other changes to make that work, but yeah, the main thing was that was the that was the, uh, that was the main thing. I only needed to do it on supply stations. The the uh, delivery stations you don't need it on those uh, uh, just the supplies. So you'll notice a very subtle little dot here. And I also wired up the wires to um, signal to the circuit network about whether or not trains are incoming, so that they can uh, reserve the station for delivery before they get there. And uh, I also um, added a thing to the, uh, let's see, yeah, I added some circuits on the uh, supply, on the demand side to, um, to, to just like with the other ones. Uh, it's the same as the, del the demand side on items, but uh, I had to wire them all up. So I also added a, a change to the refueling rule. Um, there was a there was a bug in here on one of the versions of the trains. There's four different trains. One of the rules for one of the trains had this as a parameterized type. Uh, so if you plopped that one down first, it would mess everything up. Um, if you if you plopped a different one down first, everything would be fine. So a couple of people ran into that. I'm pretty sure this is why it was parameterized before. Now it's not. It should it should fix it. I always just started with rocket fuel, so it didn't come up for me because I already started with rocket fuel. But if you start with something else it will break. Uh, but now it won't, so it's fixed. Uh, that shouldn't come up anymore. I also added uh, where it checks to make sure that the fuel stop is not full because I had a situation where if I put several trains down at once, they don't want to go refuel and they they just sit around until they could get there. Now they they won't. They'll uh, go to the depot if they can't get to the fuel and they'll wait until they will they'll wait their turn where they're supposed to be. So that's been fi that's been fixed. Um, I also slightly mo moved the uh, the poles on the fuel station so that you can line them up a little more easily with uh, regular depots while you're like you can place them all in a row and uh, they'll line up a little better and that is it that's all the changes for 2.03 2.0.3 and um, I also reversioned everything so you'll see 2.0.3 in all of the areas where something um, needs to be versioned this is uh this is because if you place a blueprint down that has a new version of this, it will ignore it if it's already defined. So in order to define it new, each time I have a new version, these have to be reversioned. So um, that is it. Uh, I'm going to put this out on the regular places. I'll have this video out so people can have a heads up. If you're migrating to this from an existing save, you're going to need to replace your supply and de demand stations for fluids if you want to use these new fluid flex trains. And um, Actually, you'll have to replot. You'll have to replace uh, your fluid trains as well. Any dedicated fluid trains, you'll need to replace those because um, it, it changes their rule. For um, it, well, one of these might be. Oh, these are all full. Uh, but yeah, it changes their rule uh, to look for the new station with the dot in the name as well. So uh, in order for them to find it, they'll they'll have to be updated. So that ought to do it. That ought to take care of everything and uh, get you up and running again with the latest and greatest. 
All right, guys, that's it for now. Have Oh, oh, one more thing I forgot I also fixed. Um, you don't actually have to do the um, the fixes anymore. Like when you import the blueprints, remember uh, I made a video you, you, where you need to go through and fix the parameters and stuff? You don't have to do that anymore. Um, basically, I made it where it'll still automatically add a couple of weird ones that don't have anything to do with anything. Uh, but you can safely ignore these guys. It no longer parameterizes this one. Apparently, if it has a name, it assumes it's a parameter, even if it's not a parameter. So I just removed the names. So uh, that, that took care of that one. Yeah, that was the main one that was making me have that extra dialog box. It's gone now. So uh, that's it, guys. See you next time. Have a good one. Bye.